Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Film My Run on Zwift. My name is Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live around the world on Facebook, on Twitch.tv, on Mixer and on YouTube. While we're getting everything set up, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Runs and Rides YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run, on Twitter at Film My Run, and you can also go to the website which is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, and watch me do all the hard work. <laughs> everybody Wednesday evening time for Wednesday workout but as has been the case for the past few weeks actually I've run quite a lot over the weekend and Monday Tuesday so Wednesday bit of a relaxing night tonight go joining group C and we're off in a minute one minute to go we've got 11 12 13 14 people in group C tonight and David Mears is our group leader And Ryan Downey, for the first time in ages, is actually not running outside. He's running indoors on the treadmill. Hello, Jason. Hello, David Power. How are you guys? Jason, are you doing um, are you doing elevation tonight, or are you sticking to the flat? <laughs> right, 28 seconds. Let's get move on here. I'm not sure what speed we're starting at, but let's go up to let's take it up to nine kilometres an hour and then we'll see where we go from there. <sighs> and we're in Watopia. It's a shame because I did my five miles um, in the, the world's mission. In mission worlds, world's mission, whatever it's called. And I did that on Watopia um, on Monday. So I was hoping for a different course today, but never mind. Okay, 8.3 it is. Oh, I haven't put my fan on. So 8.3 kilometers an hour as my wife leans over to turn the fan on. I can do it, it's all right, actually. I can do it. Yeah, got it. Okay, so <laughs> Ryan says he's get, he gets to motivate me today. Yeah, you can, uh, you can G me along, Ryan. I've got a bit of a tight hamstring, and uh, I'm, I'm up for I'm up for not working too hard tonight. So don't don't make me work too hard. <sighs> so who have we got? We've got um, Carol. Carol Rushworth, um, who is um, Jonathan's other half. So she's trying out the treadmill. Let's hope you don't have any uh, dropouts tonight. And we've got Tansy from USA. Uh, Paul, Paul Hutton, is it, I think? David Mears leading the group. Um, Pinto from uh, Portugal. Uh, D Wood, I'm sure I know D Wood. What's D Wood's first name? Um, and. Uh, Irizari from the USA as well. Name I don't recognize. Yeah. 
So we've got um, 1,200 metres warm up, 1,200 metres a little bit faster, 800 metres a little bit faster than that, and then we're doing a few little sprints. Verdut, thank you for your ride on. Ride on. So um, it doesn't look like there's many in Group A tonight, but they're off and going. Group B's got a few people in. I've got my fingers crossed for Carol. Let me know how it goes, Jonathan. And we've got De Graaf as well from uh, uh, Norway in Group C tonight. So there's definitely a few people I... Uh, Few names I recognise. Alex Dieter says, have I got any big races coming up? Not in the immediate future. Well, it depends what, when I say immediate future, I don't know what you mean, but for me, that means the next couple of weeks. Um, next month, in, in exactly a, no, hang on a minute, where are we? 4th, 5th of March, 6th of March. So in about five weeks, I've got Paris Marathon. And, uh, and then the biggest race I've got coming up in the next couple of months is the Thames Path 100. 100 miles along the Thames here in the UK. Um, last year it was absolutely boiling hot. I didn't run it last year, but so many people dropped out because it was really, really hot. So I'm hoping it's not going to be quite so hot this year. But looking forward to that. Paris Marathon I've done seven times so far, so I'm looking looking to do my eighth Paris Marathon in a row. Much easier to get into than London. And uh, just as nice, honestly, the sights, support, really good. <laughs> really, yes, yeah, somebody's just said tight pack. Really tight pack, really good. So we're running at 8.4 kilometers now. We've got 66.66 of a kilometer to go. Pinto, thank you for your ride on. Ride on. So S Pinto is in the group. So some people, Aaron as well, thank you for your ride, ride on. on. Let's have another air horn. Some people um, listen to my stream whilst they're actually running in the group. And uh, some people try and watch as well as run. How they manage that, I don't know. I'm, get, I'm guessing most of you watching tonight aren't actually running as well. And I know some people in other groups listen to my stream, which must be very confusing if I'm calling out speeds that we're going at, which are completely different to the speeds that they're supposed to be going at. Bill Haig says, where's the pace bot? Or words to that effect. I don't know where the pace bot's gone. I'm not sure there was one. I didn't see one at the start. So maybe there isn't one. So heart rate at 120. Steps per minute 159. Let's try and keep that heart rate nice and steady. And uh, not too high. And David Mears says he's going to take some photos tonight, some screenshots. Actually, I can do that as well. I've got a little button I can press to take some screenshots. Alan Glendinning is cycling and watching the stream at the same time. I hope you're not cycling outdoors. <laughs> that would be hilarious. So this Group C, already, look at us, we are so tight. By now, Groups A and B would have split up quite a lot already. You know, and there'd be a flyer off the front, three minutes ahead already. Jason, thank you for your ride on. Ride on. Okay, Bill, so if there wasn't one this morning, yeah, I guess there's not one today. 
it um, it kind of depends on how they program the uh, the session. And sometimes there'll be a pace, but sometimes there isn't. Up to 8.5 kilometres an hour. David Mears, thank you for your ride right on. on. So, yes, I was hoping, you know, there's a there's a new um, mission to go for on uh, Zwift now, which is to, ri- to run or ride five miles. Well, to run five miles. I don't know what the... Uh, the ride option is but to run five miles in every Zwift world. Burley, thank you for your ride on. Ride on. So I did, I've done my five miles in Watopia. So I was hoping tonight that we'd be in New York or London. But uh, there's another five miles in Watopia coming up. So that's going to make for some nice photos. Let's take another screenshot. Oh, that didn't work. Wrong button, that's why. Here we are. Uh, Bill Haig is saying, is the music mine or from Zwift? It is mine. So if, you, if you're in the game, yeah, you won't hear this music and there's no way to, to turn it on. It's simply from my stream. I've been saying to everybody for ages now that I'm going to get a new playlist. And I am working on some songs to put on it. It's very difficult to find songs that I like or music that I like that isn't copyrighted. So uh, it's taking some time. And uh, we've got Lingar from Norway who's joined us, but he's in Group D. But Master, thank you for your ride on. Ride on. Air horn time. <laughs> Okay, here we go, up to 8.6 now. That's the end of the warm up. Up to 8.8 for another 1200 meters. An extended warm up, apparently, that's what it says on the screen. <laughs> Alan tells, Alan's telling me to keep Ryan Downey in check. He's, he is a wild one, isn't he? Have to be careful of him. At least he's not wearing short shorts. Now, who is wearing... I can see somebody wearing short shorts there. Maybe it's one of the girls. But I'm, I'm glad to see most of the guys have gone into settings and uh, put some long shorts on. There's one or two people just hanging back a little bit now. So we've got um, Iziari, is it? Five, five seconds back now. Um, if you're not keeping up to speed with what's going on on the uh, Zwift Runners Facebook page and within Zwift News, um, there's a new initiative um, in cycling which I think will be coming to running in the not too distant future, which is ring fenced group rides. There's always been a problem in uh, runs like this, rides where it's not a race, you're, you're supposed to stay together and do the workout together as a group. But there's always been problems with riders joining these groups and then just racing off in the front. Hello, Evan. Nice to see you. Thanks for your ride on. And um, Zwift have been trying to think for ages how to deal with this. And they've come up with a plan. And the plan is to have a fence around the group leader. And if you go ahead of that fence for more than a few seconds, you get a warning on the screen which tells you to back off to rejoin the group or you'll be kicked out of the rate or of the run or the ride so it is only available as a beta in cycling at the moment they're just testing out but it won't be long i am sure 
for that or something very similar to that appears in running for group rides, group runs in Zwift. Because although it's not as bad as cycling, it's quite often the case that you join a group run and somebody, rather than sticking with the group and doing the workout as programmed, they fly off the front and they're like five minutes ahead by the end of the, the run. Sarah Brandis says, she's, Zwift is the only place I can deal with short shorts. The chafing is a real struggle. <laughs> well, I think that the, the whole point about shorts and the length of them came about because some of the ladies, quite rightly, were saying, I, I don't want to be wearing short shorts in, um, in Zwift. And, and it was only the men that had long shorts and the women defaulted automatically to short shorts. And some of the women wanted to wear long shorts. So I think that is why the recent update changed these few things. Oh, who, David Mears is in short shorts. Our group leader is wearing short shorts. At least they're not pink like Tim's were the other night. Lee Wood says it's a nice group tonight. And Dean Robinson, Robert, Dean Robertson is in Group D tonight. Right on, Dean. Right on. So I'm right in the middle of the pack. And now uh, we're just seeing out this long warm-up, second half of the warm-up. And then we'll go a bit faster for 800 metres before we get to our first stride. 500 metres to go at this pace. <coughs> Good stuff, David. Just in case uh, people don't realise, I am streaming Group C tonight live on the Film My Run channel. We're also on YouTube and Twitch and Mixer. And I am watching chat from YouTube. I'm watching chat on Facebook. And if you are watching on Twitch, I'm also watching chat from Twitch. But uh, it's usually Facebook and YouTube, so hello to you guys. Alex Dieter wants trousers for wet weather. I think it might be a little while before we get that option. <sighs> so Ryan Downey, who's in this group, usually does these group sessions on Zwift running outdoors. And that is perfectly possible if you don't have a treadmill at home and you really want to join in the Zwift runs, it is possible to actually load up Zwift on your iPhone, get your foot pod connected and run outside. Now, you won't really be able to look at the screen very much, but uh, it certainly means you can be part of the run. Jack it up. And when we get Discord organised, so we've got voice chat, you'll be able to film more part of the run. <laughs> Brian says, the park is too icy today. So it's lunchtime for Ryan in the States. Early evening here in the UK. Well, kids' bedtime is what it is here in the UK. Coming to the end of the second part of the warm up. And then we've got 800 meters coming up at 9.2 kilometers an hour. All following David, who's got the yellow beacon above his head there. Bill Collins, thank you for your ride on. Ride on. So every 
everyone in Group C is within five seconds of each other, which is pretty awesome, really. So here we go. <laughs> Up to 9.2. Well, it says 9.3 now, changed. On the left, it says 9.2, but in the middle, you can see the instructions in the middle, it says 9.3. If you are watching Zwift for one of the first times, you don't know what you're looking at. Uh, this just shows you... Oh, hang on a minute. I need to start it again. Let me press it again. Right, there we are. So that's everyone taking part. That's a map of the course. Uh, there you can see uh, pace and distance and time. That's my level in the game, level 21. That's the, the speed we should be going at. That's the speed we are going at. And then we've got heart rate and cadence. And then right over the other side, we've got a breakdown of the run itself and how long to go. And then kilometer splits and some other stats down there. And then at the bottom, we've got a graph of my heart rate and pace. So that's what's on the screen. So you can keep an eye on everything and you'll notice you might not be able to see clearly because uh, my screen might be cut off, but each person has a country flag next to their name. That tells you where they're, either where they're running or where, they, where they're from, where they say they're from. It's not always exactly where they're running sometimes. Just the country they identify with, let's say. Yes, Alex Dieter talking about running outside with your phone. Um, it, it is restrictive because when you're running Zwift on your phone, the battery runs out very quickly. Sisuthan, thank you for your ride on. Ride on. Um, and you can probably, if you've got a fully charged phone, you can probably just uh, get away with a 10K run. Um, I have in the past uh, put a, a battery charger on and put my phone in a backpack. But I haven't actually run outside on Zwift for a long, long time. Right, so David is saying it should be 9.2 and I'm doing 9.3, so I'm gonna rein it back. Oh no, Devon or Victoria. Nick, can you get my, my charger for my computer? It's in there. I'm going to run out of charge. The, the PC one, not the Mac. I forgot to ch put my uh, charger into my computer. Hopefully my wife will bring it to me. Put me in a minute. Thank you for the ride on, whoever that was. Just missed your ride name on. there. The black one. Thank you. If you can plug it into the spare thing there. Okay. And then it goes in the back of the computer. That's it, yeah. And then no, in the middle, round hole in the middle. Brilliant, thank you very much. My wife has saved the day again. So it's surprising how often my wife does in fact save the day. <laughs> right, let me just slow it down a bit more because I seem to be getting ahead of the pack. David said it doesn't matter if I go ahead, but I don't want to go ahead. I want to stay with the group. But I am running at the pace it says. I'm running slower than the pace it says now. So I'm running at nine kilometers an hour. Ian Matthews says he ran Group B this morning and he did see the, the uh, pace bot. Oh. <laughs> Ryan Downey says uh, more videos of Victoria running, please. I'll try and get that organised for you, Ryan. Oh no, it's still...
For some reason, I've lost Zwift. My computer died, and then Zwift disappeared. I can see it in front of me, but it's not coming up on the screen. Let me just try once again to try and get it back. Apologies everyone, if you are watching and uh, you've lost everything, so have I, so don't worry. Guys, apologies, I've totally lost the stream. The stream from Zwift. Haven't got anything. It looks like I'm still Zwifting, but I haven't got anything on screen at all. So I don't know what's happened. I think, well, I do know what's happened. The, the computer battery ran out, and uh, when it was plugged in, it obviously didn't get plugged in. It's not gone. It is plugged in, but it, it died again. So something is up and I can't seem to get it back. I'm assuming I am broadcasting. So I just I'm way behind the group now. Fortunately it's a shame. But I lost everything there. Everything turned off. So if we're on, we're on. That'll do. Just get the uh, get the rest of the workout finished now. So the rest of the group are three minutes ahead of me now. So I either do a crazy catch up at ridiculous speeds, or I just chill out and do the rest of the group on my own. Okay, Harold de Graff says catch up. Okay. Well, we'll see what, I don't know if I can, but let's give it a go. At, um, Let's try 14 kilometers an hour for a couple of minutes and see how that goes. Thanks Ryan for letting me know I'm on. Yeah, everything crashed. Had to restart the whole thing. Would happen when I'm trying to join Group C, wouldn't it? It never happens in Group A these days. Right, can I catch up? Can I make it to the rest of the group by the end of the run? Carol Rushworth is two minutes, two minutes ahead of me.
I apologise, Ryan. That was a bit depressing, everything going off like that. I feel a bit demotivated. I'm, a, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you just have to motivate yourself now. <sighs> I'm going to try and play catch up. See if I can get back to the group. But I'm a long way behind. Two and a half minutes behind David, David Mears. behind Carol now. I got a bad feeling about this. I'm not going to get any of my stars for this, am I? Forty seconds behind Carol, but one minute eighteen behind Irizari, and uh, two minutes behind S Brown, and still two minutes ten seconds behind David Mears. So it's a long way to catch up. Should see the heart rate go up though. Why do these things never work out the way you want them to? I was looking forward to a nice easy run tonight. <laughs> no, not an easy run Pinto at all. Just coming up on Carol now. <laughs> I know, I know. It's all good banter. Right, well done, Carol. So, Irizari is 42 seconds ahead. David Mears is a minute and a half ahead. So hopefully we'll get them before the end of the run. Entirely my fault, of course, for not remembering to plug my laptop in. <laughs> oh, 
heart rate up to 160 now. So I'm totally ignoring the instructions on screen now, as you can see, just to get back with the group. So just coming up on is our here is Ari now. Well done to him. Good job. One minute behind the pack now. Shauba.net. You want to go and have a look at that? Forty seconds behind the pack. There's the beacon up ahead, look. I'm very tired, Ryan. <laughs> but it, it's entirely my own fault, I can't complain. So we've done over six kilometers now in Wednesday workout, we've got just over four to go. And Wolf, thank you for your ride on. Right on. Twenty seconds behind David Mears now. So hopefully it won't be long and I'll be back with them. And I can slow down a bit. Well done, Tanzi. And David Toff says, ride on. Thank you, David. Ride on. No, Dawson Toff. Not David, Dawson, sorry. Five seconds back. There's a bit of catch up for you. Oh, that was hard work. So back with the pack now. Hopefully, stay with them for the rest of the run. 
just under four kilometers left. If you do uh, fancy giving me a bit of help, you can go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash film my run. Go and subscribe there. All my Zwift videos and also loads of real world running as well. Actually, outside, who'd have thought it? point there by Ryan rather than just pressing a number to get to a certain speed it can be easier to slowly progress forward through the paces so you gradually increase your pace not all in one go so I should get my star for this one as long as I stay at 11 let's just Come back a little bit actually because already getting ahead of the group leader. Glad of that fan now. Guys, I am watching YouTube chat. I'm watching Facebook chat. If I am still on there, if you're watching the same channel, do say hi. Sometimes if it goes off, it can be difficult to find it again. So apologies for that. Thank you for your ride on. Ride on. Magna Runes there from Norway.
One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, finally, back on. I didn't know my microphone was off. I've been speaking for about half an hour. And probably no microphone. Uh, Magna, your question is, uh, how do you know when to run again? Um, your body will tell you. There's no harm in going out and trying a run, a short run, and see how you get on. But um, you'll know if you're not ready and you just go back and rest. Carry on resting and try again. And you'll know when you feel okay. Sometimes you just have to take a chance though. So here we go with the final set of the day. 1.2 kilometers at 11.7. So I hope the microphone is properly back on now. Let me know if it is. <laughs> Magna. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Been a bit of a strange stream today. Things going wrong here and there. Not to worry. These things happen from time to time. Thanks for letting me know, Magna. So 800 meters left at this pace. And then we cool down for 800 meters and that's the end of Wednesday workout for another day. That's a good shot. Six hundred meters left. I've only got five out of fifteen stars. I'm only going to get seven out of fifteen stars. That's no good, is it? And the group is uh, rejoining each other. Now. That's nice. So a good pack of five all together for the last few hundred meters. So we've done nine kilometers of Wednesday workout. We've got 400 meters to go at this pace and then we've got 800 meters cool down.
Oh, that's a bit uncomfortable, isn't it? That's a bit too close for comfort. And David Mears has picked it up again for some reason, I think. Let's close that group back up. Is David sprinting for the end? <laughs> Andrew Jackson, thanks for your ride on. Ride on. Less than 100 metres left now at this pace, and then it's cool down time. There we go. So just chill out time now. <sighs> Thanks David for organizing, for uh, running that, for being in charge, keeping us all in check. Oh, Jay Smith, big, big sir marathon. Very good. So we're going at 9.7 kilometers an hour. According to David and Ryan. I better pick it up, hadn't I? So I'm just going to dish out some ride-ons, I think. and get my uh, keyboard to work. everyone. Tansy, thanks for your ride on. Right on. And that's it for Monday Run Club. No, for Wednesday workout. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you are interested in running on Zwift, go and sign up at zwift.com forward slash run. It'd be great to have you around. Have a look at the website. That will give you all the information you need to sign up for Zwift. And it's free at the moment. No charge for Zwift running right now. And it's pretty easy to get set up on Zwift as well. Just need uh, a foot pod and uh, access to a treadmill. Just show you this. It's so easy. It's so easy to get set up for Zwift running. All you need are a few things. Firstly, access.
access to a treadmill, either at home or at the gym. It doesn't matter what kind of treadmill you use, any treadmill will work with Zwift. Next, you need a foot pod, preferably a Bluetooth foot pod, and the most popular ones to use at the moment are the Zwift pod or the Stride. Then simply download the Zwift app onto any of these devices. So, a Mac, a PC, an iPhone, an iPad, an Android phone, Zwift even works on Apple TV. Pair your foot pod in the app, possibly add a heart rate monitor if you like, and that's it, you're all set up. That was rather strange. That didn't work quite how I wanted it to. A lot of things going on tonight for some reason. There we are. So that's it. That is uh, Workout Wednesday over and done with for another week. All done. So Uh, you can see there a graph of the run today. You can see where I had the massive stop in the middle and then had to do a, a massive speedy catch up to get back with everybody. Heart rate went right down and then we did 14 kilometers an hour uh, till we caught up with everybody. So it was a bit strange, a bit of a strange one this evening. It's normally a bit more straightforward than that. Who'd have thought it would be not straightforward joining Group C? Let's just click End Run. And it says Save and Exit. And then we've got a few, um, a few photos to upload from this evening's event. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. I might be back before Monday uh, to carry on the... Uh, world's mission trying to run five miles on each world in Zwift I've done Watopia so we've got New York Richmond Innsbruck and London left to do four more 20 miles to do before the end of the month so I might do another one this week take care guys thanks for joining me and we'll see you again bye bye